you know how to join the conversation is on facebook.com slash join news on tv on twitter it's our join news on tv and on whatsapp the numbers are on zero two six six zero four seven four one seven it will be on your screen very soon but it's been a week of misfortunes as the chama bridge in the central gunja district claims the life of a pregnant woman during a heavy downpour and a family of six also losing their lives in adija in the ashanti region following floods to cap months of agitation for a solution to a dilapidated bridge there. How do you feel about the situation as a Ghanaian? It's, it's rather unfortunate that things are going on this way, okay? Uh, uh, the reason why I'm saying so is that we wait till things happen, okay, disasters happen, things we can really manage or do something about it before we, 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 we come on board and see the, the authorities are saying to this, they are doing that and that. You see, it's, it's hard time we look up to uh, these 40 things and then correct it. We, we initially kicked out the uh, previous uh, go government because we thought they are incompetent. And I think this time we have voted for a competent person and we, we, we wish they really step out the gate. As a Ghanaian, I feel so bad because life are lost. We cannot see those people anymore. But those who, who are responsible for those um, works if they should have put measures in place to repair those bridges i think it will go a long way to help the people in those communities on those cities and that's to save life but we wait for those damages to cause harm to the population before we move to the site to the so i feel terrible about these things because we don't have to wait for lives to be lost before you know, we take actions and do all these things. I, sh I feel, you know, the agencies should be up on their toes, up on their feet, you know, looking, seeing that, seeing to it that, you know, these bridges are, uh, you know, are safe to, to travel on and all that, so that, you know, no more lives will be lost. Because these lives that have been lost, you know, it's, 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 it's quite discouraging, it's quite um, heartbreaking. <laughs> Right, those are some comments on um, the streets of Accra. We're trying to pull out some of your comments on Facebook. And uh, some of you have been sending... Okay, so we're trying to get your messages on Facebook. And um, we will be reading them to you very shortly. But let's move on to other stories. Because she's been abandoned in the middle of a forest for two years for allegedly being a witch. Take a look at this pathetic video. It is not my father's will to leave me here in the forest. He remarried and chose to live with his wife in the town. I am blamed for everything that happens in the family. I just walk around here and by evening I lock my doors and go to sleep. I only pray to God for protection. I've been living alone for two years. I have delivered three babies without any assistance. So I use play to cut the umbilical cords and the babies die. All right, that's a very pathetic story there. How does her story strike you? We asked you on the street. <laughs> Morally and biblically is not right. Why? Because um, even if she is, or if the person is, as a pastor, we are, it is your responsibility to cast out demons, to ensure that there is peace and harmony. One of the um, characteristics of a pastor is to ensure that there is a peace and harmony at all times. So any pastor who try to bring a sort of conflict, a sort of um, um, uh, issues 
in a family, that pastor is 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 um, has a question to be blamed. Parents of these days should really pay attention because not all pastors are pastors. Okay, some people feel they are pastors, but they are not. Sometimes certain things they say are false. So I feel parents of 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 our of our days should pay attention. And also, they banishing the girl into the bush is wrong. It's very wrong, because if 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 you carried her for nine months and you are able to banish her into the bush, I, I don't I don't think it's worth it for a, a mother or like parents to do that. Some of these men of God have to be checked. They have you know authorities have to take these things up because these men of God are misleading people. You know, and it's 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 so heartbreaking. To me, it's so heartbreaking. You know, families are being broken. You know, issues, things are you know, relationships are being relationships are being destroyed, and all just because of these fake you know prophecies and all that. So, I think you know, authorities should, authority should take this up. You know, and make sure that some of these things they they don't happen. You know. A lot of your comments are on Facebook and on WhatsApp. Let's start with Facebook, Araba. Um, and, uh, yeah, Obed Mugzan Kwanza says, what kind of heartless society are we becoming? I've finally give up, given up on humanity. Obed, don't give up just yet. Alpha Omega writes, uh, Amnesty International, NCC, Shraj, and Dobsu, etc. should intervene from where Kofi TV has reached in helping her terrible situation and john bahuma uh, okay so uh, anthony kojo asafo says oh i'm so sad and who are those men who impregnate uh, who impregnate this girl the hey. same question i asked exactly when I, I mean they the just take yeah. advantage of a vulnerable girl uh, kessie edward writes i was sad when i was watching it live in uh, lodi tv the other day it took them almost one hour to get to the farm okay, okay. so that's the uh, uh, He's talking about the flats. Okay, the, all right. The co bridge collapse. Okay, and uh, Joseph Hagen says, some people are just inhuman. And uh, Kerry AJ says, I swear, Africa is hell. Hmm. Okay, let me take a few of your comments on WhatsApp. And this one is saying, uh, a very sad day indeed. Yet we have MPs representing the people. Where power is this country heading to? And uh, Aisha, okay, Abraham says, Aisha, I'm from Senegal. Uh, concerning the Kumasi Bridge collapse, where is Chama Wuntumi? Okay, and this one says, congratulations to Joy News. Continue serving Mother Ghana and leave everything to God. Look at what is happening at the Bagri Dam. And this one is say, um, from Olawani. He says, sorry to deviate from your subject. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm not reading. And Nana says, people should reason. Witchcraft is spiritual. You don't get rid of a witch or wizard through banishment. They can operate from overseas. <laughs> okay, in fact, and this one say Cody is doing... Okay, I, I'm sure you wanted to say kudos. You're doing too much. May God... Okay, Kofi is doing too much. May God bless him. Okay, thanks for that message. Vera Santi says, Oh, what are told do men want in this world? Hmm. And I'm sure she's saying this with regards to those who impregnate this poor girl exactly. who's already devastated. Abdul Majid says, did I hear Mr. Vaisal Sazim saying the fight against corruption by government is not satisfactory? Okay, so you're also deviating from our topic. Okay, so it's time to watch our video of the day. Now, do you remember this video which was trending a while back? Now that was a heavy fall and everybody thought that he was injured, couldn't get up. He was, you know, his bones were broken, literally. But uh, he has released another video. Watch. Everything good. When I give thanks, everything makes successful for me. I'm still alive. Yes. And everything will be possible for me. Always. Yeah, do you go to the hospital? 
Um, I went to the hospital about an hour. I'm okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel better now. Okay. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah. Give thanks. Give thanks. So you see, saw him there, giving thanks. He went to the hospital. <laughs> so he is fine now. No bones broken. We thank God. Next time he should be careful. And that's how we wrap up the interactive segment. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't talk about cheating. Hopefully Monday we'll do that. And